Hello and welcome back to more or less play Kingdom Hearts. In the previous episode, we were working on the end of the world place, and yeah, we're just continuing it. Uh, right now, we're getting a, a basic flash to the past um, of each world and getting like a special item in each of them. One of the you know more unique items that were pretty good in my opinion. Like you got the white fang, or ray of light, and such, which were pretty good accessories. I do not believe that it's required that you actually step inside the beams, however. I believe you can just skip them, in all honesty. You only go inside them to get the extra accessories. So if you're wanting to skip this bit, I suppose you could, if you're playing the game. I'm not, however, so. Right now we're in Agrabah. And that's not doing anything. I didn't see a chest. Huh. That's weird. Huh. Nope. Can't go in any of the doors, so I guess there wasn't a chest. Oh well. We'll just continue on then. Alright, what's this one gonna be? Halloween time? Take it or leave it? Nope. Atlantica. We got the jellyfish things. I didn't like those guys. Yeah, at this point, uh, actually getting shot up by that uh, whirlpool in the middle doesn't really matter. It doesn't really do much. And there's our chest there at the bottom. Can you believe it? There's only two episodes left now. We've come a long way. And I'm glad that we're finally getting it over with, just because now I can finally start the the next couple of less plays that I want to do, which I've been wanting to get off my computer for a while, to be honest. But I said I wasn't going to upload a single episode until I finished this Let's Play, so we're going to get it done. Because honestly, I played through Metroid, I played through freaking Fatal Frame, and this Let's Play never got done. And at this point, I could actually upload a whole other Let's Play before actually finishing this. And I think that's sad. Sorry, I'm listening to music and I'm going through this as well. In the air tonight, Phil Collins. In case you're interested. Really good song. I like it. Phil Collins, now he's, he's a good artist. Next uh, portal thing is the last one, I believe, because it's green. Well, we're in Neverland at the moment. We just came from ha Halloween Town. Oh, I have to find something else to listen to. Pitchy. Killing. I'm not seeing a chest here yet, though. Then again, I don't remember any kind of like spe specific uh, 
great item that we... Ooh, wait, never mind. We got the Raven's Claw. That was a good item. I believe. Can't remember. What's in you? Raven's Claw. See? Yep, see? I'm not... I'm not stupid. I remember some things. And then again, none of you have claimed that I'm stupid anyway, so I, I shouldn't be saying that. I don't think you guys think I'm stupid. I just think I can be dumb at times. And not, you know, pay attention to the obvious. Now then, there's Winnie the Pooh. This one, I think, will actually not show up unless you've not completed... Unless you've completed the world. I think regularly, that one won't show up. However, now we get the boss battle. Yep, there's no others after this. This will lead you to a boss battle, I'm pretty sure. And it's actually a fun one because you get a fly. What? Well, spoiler alert there, because it's not actually a battle yet. Come on, game, really? I forgot about this portal. <laughs> Oh well, it's still a, a useful toy though. Yeah, you can't go through there, Sora. You're gonna have to go through the door to the right. And you can read stuff. One born of the heart and darkness, the void of hearts all. Sees all hearts in the one. These seem to be part of Ansem's notes. And of course, I was pressing X like a madman when actually recording this, and I will not be able to read through all this. So if you want to pause, it's up there long enough for you to read it. We got a gale. Always good. Mega elixir. Always good. You're gonna want to have a lot of those here towards the end. Yeah, we've read through that. No. Now, sorry, you can leave. You see, what I thought you had to do was actually go through there. Basically, I believe you could also just... Or in the end, I believe you just need to go back the way you came from, and then we'll get sent to the boss battle. I could be wrong, though. So swift. Can dance to remember. Some dance to forget. Look at that. That looks like the, uh, the apparition. Well, not apparition, but the colors and such that we saw inside the uh, heart shape back at Halabastion. Yeah, see, you leave, and then now there's a giant hole. Now we get sent to the boss battle. Lord. Me and my bright ideas. Alright, so like I said, we get a fly in this boss battle, and it's basically the equivalent of Ursula. But this time with fire. Instead of lightning. I can't exactly remember his name, though. He has one. But yeah, we get this giant, dark, well, heartless. Who's, uh, he's got some giant wings. However, I'm pretty sure Sephiroth can beat the hell out of him. With just one wing. Right. But basically, like I said, it's kind of like the Ursula battle. All you really need to do is beat the living heck out of him. Run away if he starts doing, like, these major things around him. Just scattering everywhere. And, uh, every once in a while, if you need a heal, go ahead. Heal up. Maybe cast off arrow gun. It's really simple. You just beat the crap out of him. I mean, look. I've already gotten, like, past halfway through his health. I just got fire. He's about to die. We're almost 
almost down to the green bar. We're only on the yellow. And of course, as the battle goes by, it of course gets difficult. Uh, slightly more difficult. But you get these balls that appear uh, scattered throughout the the arena here, and basically just don't let them touch you. If you do, you take it. I think it's self-explanatory. Come on, take him out, Sora. He's only got a smidget left. And everyone leveled up there. Max AP, defense, and I can't read what Goofy's was, but he leveled up as well. And so he's gone. Now we get to continue on with the end of the world, because it's not over yet. We still got like a, a fraction of it left. I think like one fourth of it. We've only been through three fourths of it. Now we get Super Glide. Eh, honestly, not that useful in my opinion. Basically, it lets you glide a lot faster. That's it. Do 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 do. Um, abilities. I can equip that super glide. Basically, press the square button to fly. Like I said, it basically all it does is shoot you across the room faster. Right. So now we get to navigate our way through here and end up here at the bottom and go through this. Where we end up with more stuff to do here. Basically, there's nothing there. Okay. We get some frightful looking buildings and such. Broken down worlds. That have been consumed by darkness. And we just keep going through until eventually we'll run into a room somewhere, I think. Still haven't. A whole bunch of halls. Useless. Just a bunch of holes. All right. Oh, we got another behemoth here. See, I knew that couldn't be the last one. But this is actually the room that I was talking about in the previous episode, and probably towards the beginning of this episode, and the last, you know, I talked about it several times within the last few episodes. But, like I was saying in all of those episodes, uh, in this room, Basically, if you continue on to the next room, and then come back, everything will reset, unlike the usual amount of rooms, where basically, you have to go two rooms away before the first room that you were in will reset. Which makes this area a good place to uh, farm for the mystery goo, and or also farm for uh, the gales if you need any. You don't have to go through the behemoth every single time, though. You only have to fight through everything for... As you can see, there's that door there. You're going to have to go through four, three or four stages to get rid of all the Heartless here. But once you've actually defeated all the Heartless in this room, then you can reset it and the door will already be open. So you just have to go through the amount of Heartless that are there at the current time. Which you can basically kill with the Trinity Minute. If you've had, if you got it at this point, it makes it a lot easier. It's the lower Norfair theme, or the more cavern, cavernous theme, or the metro. I can always throw on some pop voice set. I always like to do pop voice set. Come on! Come on! Come on! Okay, we're just trying to finish up the Heartless in here. Like I said, there was like four phases. Oh, 
You know that I think about it, I said pink toy goes all, I'm just gonna pink toy dark side of the moon at the moment. And we got another Gale. section of heartless to kill. Another Gale? See? The drop rate on those are all... See? We got a second one just sitting here. A third one. And you only need like 10 to get... Uh, to synthesize all the items. If I were pitch perfect. And that was the last bit, correct? So that means we can go through the door. Because that is a door. It leads us to the final rest is the name of the room, I believe. And we should have a save point in here. Yep, see? And a chest. What's inside? Mega... Elixir. Now, if you go on through that door, you continue on to the last boss. However, I get to sit around and uh, farm for gales and crap. Later on, anyway. Right now, I'm going to head over to... Uh, um, what's it called? Traverse Town, because, you know, that was difficult to think of. Uh, I'm going to head over to Traverse Town to check on what I actually need and how much I need of it. So, let's head over there. And now we, of course, can warp drive to the end of the world and just port back to the final rest where we need to. And in the next episode, we'll be able to start the last bit of the game. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Tonight I'll probably upload a couple of videos, I'm not sure. Right now I've got episode 70 up. Pretty nice, right? Alright, so we're gonna head upstairs and talk to the synthesizing noodles. Koopa? Alright, let's see. What can I make? Mega elixir, sure. Armlet, yep. Ribbon, yes. That's everything. Okay. We talk to him again. Now they should have the ultimate weapon inside. Be sure to look everywhere you go for items. Koopa. We're making the ultimate weapon. Yep, see, now we're on the final item, and I'm pretty sure I don't have enough mystery goo for it. Um, yeah, see, I don't have enough Mr. U. So, I'm gonna sit there going back and forth between the final rest in that one area to actually get the Mr. U. And, uh, I will see you all in the next episode where I will already have gotten all that and, uh, we'll be ready to synthesize the Ultima weapon. Wonderful, isn't it? What's up with that voice? I'm not sure. Anywho, so, I'll see you all then. Final episode coming up, yay!